All right, we're getting in breaking inputs at the moment as Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has spoken exclusively to CNN News 18's Payal Mehta. She's in fact hit out at the opposition over the Kanyakumari meditation politics. Uh, Nirmala Sitaraman has hit out at opposition for in fact approaching the election commission and moving the phone panel. Remember, politics is already brewing over Prime Minister even before his arrival in Kanyakumari today. Uh, the opposition is now training its guns, calling it a blatant violation of the model code of conduct. Let's also listen in to what Nirmala Sitaraman has to say. Ma'am, you spoke about 2014, you spoke about 2019. The mandate only got bigger in 2019. Now, the push for 2024 is even bigger. Char so far is like what the Prime Minister really said. Now, your party is mostly, you know, you've kind of reached the pinnacle as far as the north part of the country is concerned. Will South be the story of the of the uh, 2024 elections for the BJP? And secondly, ma'am, uh, when the Prime Minister decides to go on a meditation spree, you know, for a day, Opposition mocks his uh, meditation spree and in fact the Congress party has even gone up to the election commission. Uh, two things which uh, are very important and you have raised. When uh, discussions happen on Char So Par, the general tendency t is to say, North you have reached a saturation, will you make it up in the South now? We forget the East. Bengal and Orissa are going to be seeing big changes this time. Bengal, we are very sure that BJP's performance will be remarkably well. And, uh, and Orissa too, we think we will be making up in big numbers. So, South will do well. And for all the, logically, a lot of people saying, no, you may have to lose a few seats in Rajasthan, a few in Uttar Pradesh and so on. Those few, I think, are more than enough made up by the successes in Bengal and Orissa. And the south, of course, uh, in all the south southern states put together, like the Home Minister repeatedly says, we will be the single big party. Ma'am, uh, what do you have to say about the controversy that the opposition is creating about the Prime Minister going for, you know, meditation for 24 That's right. Hours? You know, the second part of your question earlier yes. was that, you know, um, it's, it's such a negative campaign that the opposition is undertaking campaign has been hectic, long drawn and Prime Minister not just campaign but also addressed the media. The, the opposition's grouse was the Prime Minister never talks to the media. All across the country to all regions and also to the national media, Prime Minister has been talking and talking. The pettiness with which they uh, charge the Prime Minister, they say uh, he always requires a screen before him so he has to answer now look he's talking to so many different media do they all provide that or does he prefer he's having a one-to-one -one normal shoulders down discussion and conversation for somebody who's done this address the media campaign all over the country if after the campaign is over and the silence period comes in he does his own meditation and that is also silence. He is not going and saying, look, it's all right, MCCB, whatever it is, I'm going and you know, speaking in campaigns or addressing sessions. He is sitting and meditating. The, it is consistent with the opposition's one position. Their campaign is against everything that the Prime Minister does. They don't have anything constructive to offer to the country, saying, all right, he does this, we are not in approval of that, but we are presenting you this. They have never answered anything to do with what is their alternative for India, Vikasit Bharat, third largest economy, skilling, youth dividend, artificial intelligence, in uh, making India become Atmanirbar India, export of defense equipments, labor laws, agriculture, doubling the income of farmers, in which many of the farmers have really seen procurements mm -hmm. reaching very high numbers and money is going into their accounts directly. So much has been done. I only listed a few. I want to ask of them, what is it that they have done? Even in the states in which they are in governance, they are just struggling to keep up with the promises which they have unthinkingly given to the people. So, people who are 
self-appointed liberals are against somebody who wants to keep silence. If he talks, you have an objection. He wants to keep moan, you have an objection. All right, let's quickly go across to Payal, who will put that into perspective for us. Payal, a very intelligent attack coming from uh, the finance minister over there. She says that the opposition lacks a campaign because their campaign is based on the foundation of everything that prime minister does, whether he gives interviews, they have an issue, or whether he remains silent or in a meditative state, they still have an issue. Well, of course, it was a very pointed attack coming in from the finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, who essentially questions the Congress party and the other opposition party that, you know, agreed that you may disagree with the prime minister. But do you have any logic behind it? Do you have anything to offer to the country uh, in, in, in contrast to that? The answer certainly is no. Nirmala Sitaraman said that it is a habit of the Congress party and several other opposition parties is just object everything that the prime minister does, including the fact that over here he wants to observe silence for 24 hours, he wants to make it. For 24 hours, and mind you, this is not the first time that the Prime Minister has done this. The Prime Minister has done this in the past also, and it actually was also witnessed by multiple people, because that's another aspect of the Prime Minister's personality, which the party people need to really know. His spirituality is something that the Prime Minister has never hidden. His belief in the karma, his belief in meditation is something which has never, you know, uh, gone unnoticed as well. So obviously, that's something that the Prime Minister is speaking about. And why should the Congress Party just object it for the heck of it? What is the answerability of the Congress Party in terms of trying to work approach the election commission? These are the point of the tax coming in from the finance minister herself. At the same time, do contextualize this for us when we talk about the finance minister also defending the prime minister. We've seen BJP's defend ha defense has in fact been very pointed. They're saying that uh, the opposition has no right to raise fingers with regards to prime minister's meditation in Kanyakumari, considering it's his own personal prerogative and that he will not be campaigning over there. At 5 o'clock this evening, which clearly means that nobody can campaign and can work. And that is exactly what the Prime Minister is really doing over there. He's going into the silent spirit. It is his choice to go ahead and meditate for 24 hours. And of course, anything that the Prime Minister really does often gets pub covered in public eye. So what's really wrong with that? Then the Prime Minister is the topmost leader of the country. He is holding the care of the Prime Minister. That is the reason probably there's a lot of interest in the public to see how, you know, how he goes about other activ activities apart from just, you know, uh, speaking in the public as well. That is something of course the BJP is saying that the Congress party is objecting for the heck of it because they do understand that you know their leaders do not have that kind of aura, do not have that kind of connect with people. So objecting something just for because they have to object something is something which one has seen over the last ten years. And the BJP says that they're not really surprised. All right, many thanks to you, Pyle, for bringing in all those inputs. In fact, we have some